All right, let's, before we go to the Dorfer Corporation, let's do a couple of Goddess Revivals, because I definitely didn't do any before. Any more C rank? You gotta use double like your fucking. Your proudness. This one would probably be good. I mean, the X that's actually a pretty good one. Uh, think about it. Um, neither one of these have any abilities, so these actually be some good ones. Um, let me see what else this goddess has. I can't really. Water protection. There's wind protection. Water protection. That has ice. Um, That one in the chickens. If we give that little blip or whatever the hell just happened. Um, right, we gotta kill these chickens, man. We gotta get rid of the chickens. More chickens. Okay, they got some light going in. Is a status effect while you're stunned, you will be unable to move for short period of time. While stunned, the status icon above you. Character will recover after taking damage. You can also use a wake up drink or stun heal to cure your effect. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna splash Sasha both of them. Splash Sasha both of them. Damn. Her physical, her, her defense is horrible. Her defense is trash. Let me take these here. This one house is on. Uh, the accuracy needs to be better. Damn. Protection. I'm proud. I don't have anybody with a gun yet. Um, change enemies. I don't get that. I don't get how that would be helpful. Changing enemies doesn't really seem like a useful effect. Let me see. World shaping dungeon effect change enemies. But what? It's not explaining what it does. Change enemies like that's not. Oh, maybe it is helpful. I don't know. I'm not explaining it. But when I'm just saying change enemies, I can do that during a battle. I don't need to. You know what I'm saying? Change enemies like not being helpful. It's not self-explanatory. I need someone to explain this. Somebody. I, mean, I ain't gonna ponder over it. Uh, all I know is I don't like the fact that I'm getting negative six percent 
from my experience. That's not good. I need to gain experience. So that one's out the question. I have nothing nowhere else. Okay, going to the vial. Going to the lily of the vial. Lightning protection gold up. Gold to go up. Damn, how much? Weapon points go up by 50%. That would actually be a pretty good one. I need, probably need to save before I do that because you know, there's no telling how strong this this guy is going to be. Oh, hell no, no. Back up, back up, back up. That was too damn good. They got plus. That's a plus and a plus. That's the main sword too. Alright, so where is that? Post battle experience. Kill status disabled. Something that's actually gonna benefit me. This is a, this is something good. Ready? Oh shit! Mega boss. Executing shooting. I gotta take out those two in the back. I feel like they they got a significance to them. This is gonna be a key to beating this thing. Next. You just kicked her. <laughs> just kick her. Just kick her. That's, that, that's funny. Oh no, that hard. Now the other one was more difficult than that.
Nice. That's just a matter of leveling them up. Corporation seeks out fencers to utilize their skills for various projects. I see. Whatever. I don't really care as long as I get food in my belly. Oh, damn it. It's that girl from before. Things are gonna get super weird if she spots me. I better try and avoid her. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. My name is Paiga. On behalf of the president of the Dorfer Corporation, I would like to personally thank you all for attending. As you know, our company has expanded to incorporate various businesses that provide food, clothing, and housing to the public. Furthermore, the Dorfer Corporation supports many philanthropic programs, like managing orphanages and running various charities. Filling hearts with the sun's radiance. That is the motto of the Dorfer Corporation. Huh. What a squeaky clean story. Yep. It sounds suspicious. The Dorfer Corporation is renowned for their charity work. They're the number one company fencers seek employment with. Yeah, that's even harder for me to believe. You know what I do believe? How tasty this food is. <laughs> oh, yeah. This party represents our desire to foster mutual friendships with the public. Please enjoy yourselves to the fullest. Now then, that's enough for me. We have a special piano performance for you all. Mr. Sherman! Aha, uh -huh, so he was a guy that saved meal, those other ones. Sounds of Mr. Sherman's piano. May tonight be a festive night for you all. This party may be hosted by the world famous Dorper Corporation, but the food is not that delicious. However, the music he creates with that piano seems to enhance the flavor of these dishes for some reason. Kill, kill, kill. Ha! Ah, she spotted me! So it's you. I thought I heard the sound of idiots. Still acting all lovey-dovey, huh? I think it's about time I paid you back for before, is what Ethel said. Kill! Come on, cut it out! I'm eating here! Save it for later! Yeah, that's right! What would happen if this shark fin got stuck in my throat and I died? Hey! I already called that shark fin! Stop it already! Here, have some tea and settle down! <laughs> you need any damn tea? Whoa! <laughs> what in the world are you all doing? What am I doing? Isn't it obvious? Thanks a lot, Fang. Now the piano is soaked with tea. Kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. Ethel says, tisk, tisk. Now you're in trouble. What are you talking about? You did this! It's your fault! I don't think my darling Ethel did anything wrong at all. That is quite enough. Apologize for your rude behavior right this instant. It's quite all right. There's no need to apologize. This piano C note was slightly off anyway. Huh? 
I'm the one who should be apologizing. I've clearly subjected everyone here to unsatisfactory music. That's... Please, it's no trouble at all. Phew, I'm glad he didn't ask us to compensate him for the piano. Right, Fang? It's just a little wet from tea. Quit overreacting. I disagree. We disrupted your performance. We are the ones who should be apologizing. Regardless of your piano's tuning, your performance was truly wonderful. As if a rainbow sprang forth from my heart. Your words are far too kind. Thank you. <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? Acting all cool and stuff? Yeah. He really pisses me off. Jealous much. Kill, kill. Ethel says, that guy's super suspicious and a total jerk. Wow. For once we agree on something. Kill. Ethel says, I'll kill you and... Oh. Well, I'll omit the rest. Jeez, could you lighten up already? going huh what are you talking about do you remember anything new oh that well not a thing none of the fairies i met recognized me either i see yeah. good morning you two please hurry and wash your faces when you are finished preparing we will leave immediately the hell going I heard something interesting at the door for corporation's party apparently a holy artifact enshrined in the village of Kitanar is mm -hmm. actually a fury when did you hear about that oh crap well, I didn't mean to skip that additionally no less than 10 gentlemen flirted with me throughout the night what are you bragging about Fifty people tried to flirt with me. Well, actually, it was more like a hundred people. Quit competing, you liars. That information about the Fury sounds fishy, too. Are you sure that isn't bogus info? Regardless, it's better than idly waiting here doing nothing. Besides, it appears Lola has no information on her end either. I want to gather the Furies as quickly as possible. My dream depends on it. Your dream? World peace, of course. I'm pretty sure you're lying. <laughs> Four fifty. I'll take it. In her picture, someone claims to have found a new fury in a catechist ice cave. They couldn't pull it out though. Your best. I wonder if you can find these things without her help. This has been bugging me for a while now. It's bugging you. You're referring to your clothes. You have gained weight recently. You gained weight recently? How rude. That's not at all. I'm talking about the first time I met you. Now you mean when Fang fell madly in love with me and chased me down? Who the hell would do that? Anyway, Karen, what's on your mind? Um, I was wondering why Tiara prepared the, that Camille tea. Oh, I just love drinking it. It's very tasty, you know. Personally, I'd rather eat meat. No one cares about your eating habits. I'm talking about the fact that it was paraly paralytic tea. Why would she go to the trouble of preparing that? Well, it's obvious she did that so she can get the fury first, which is pretty messed up. Now that I think about it. Hmm, that's none of your business. <laughs> No, it's clearly strange. I mean, she found the Fury way before we did. So she could have just taken it and ran off. That, that's... Well, you know, that sort of makes sense. <laughs> I thought the rumors about the Fury were a track of the fencers, and I was playing the scared air Furies once I showed, once they showed up. That's what I figured. 
But still, I can't help but wonder why you didn't try to take me from Fang. But that was because I, I felt sorry for you, liar. You seem really intent on reviving the goddess. There's no way a human would leave a fury behind for a stupid reason like that. Yeah, that that's because... Huey, Huey. Because? Because it would, it would cause undue hardship for a fencer to have their fury stolen, right? Undue hardship? Like I said, it would cause undue hardship if bandits attack Fang right after I stole his fury, right? They could steal all his belongings or just kill him off outright. I grow weary of this. Excuse me. Uh, she left. The hell? Was she embarrassed? You know you have... She had the antidote all along. Whatever. I can't keep track of her crazy mood swings. I wonder if that... Oh. I wonder if... It's really that embarrassing. Probably so. More than likely. Alright, um, enough of me lollygagging. <laughs> 